Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. We have another tier list and some people were asking me to actually do one on the missiles, so here we are. We are going to do, uh, we are going to go to uh, only the rank 8 missiles or basically missiles that are used in rank 8 aircraft. So, as you see we have the M7E2 used in the F-14, M7F. Uh, used many many aircraft and on the F-16s, the, the Phoenix on the uh, F-14 as well. We have the R-23s and uh, 24s over here. Remember, of course, we have the R-23 R-1, I think it's called, or something like that. The R the 24 R-1, the R-27 R-1, ER-1, T-1, all of these ones, they are basically meant for the Germans, uh, they were exported models of these missiles, but they're basically the same in the game, okay? So it doesn't matter. But yes, we have the 23s from the MLD, MLA, 24s from those aircraft as well, the R-27s, basically from the MiG-29s and the Yak-41. Then we have the Sky Flash, uh, mainly for the Tornado, the Sky Flash Super Temp, which is also in the Tornado, then the Super 530F, on the Mirage 2000C and the D as well on the 2000C and then the RB71 which is basically a sky flash but on the vegan we have all of these missiles and we're going to divide them on the long range gods basically the best missiles out there uh, great but missiles that are amazing but they have a um, one problem that it becomes a little bit less effective uh, eventually right not great, not terrible, not bad missiles, but they have their problems, big problems sometimes. Only good at one thing, so those missiles can be good at something, but everything else is basically bad. And wasted money is basically very bad missiles that are almost wasted missiles. Um, so, yeah. Uh, of course, I am including the T variants because technically they are BVR missiles. I understand it's kind of a stretch. But they are technically a BVR missile, even though they are kind of just a, you know, a big Fox 2 missile. The idea was to be used sometimes even together with the radar missile to actually improve the uh, efficiency of the, the, the attack, right? So they were used from long range and surprise attacks and stuff. So it can be used from 20 kilometers and stuff if you get a lock or, or something like that. So yeah. Even the R24, if I'm not mistaken, can detect and lock uh, an SR-71 from like 100 kilometers or something like that. Something crazy like that because of the amount of heat that that thing produces. So it's not like it's, I mean, it's impossible to use in the long range. It is just very difficult, but it can be done technically, right? So, yeah. But, yeah, let's start with the US and go for the USSR, the normal like pattern that we go for the um, game. So let's go it, uh, with it because I don't want this to be too long. M7E2, kind of a problematic missile. Uh, I don't think it's a very good missile, only good at one thing, to be honest, especially in top tier or close to top tier. It's only good at less than 10 kilometer shots. The range is very limited. It doesn't turn a lot, it has a lot of limitations. So yeah, M7E2. It's barely even a BVR weapon, right? So, yeah. Uh, AIM-7F and AIM-7M. I need to put it on great, but uh, they're basically the same missile in the files right now. In real life, they had some differences, but in the game, they are the same. So, I will consider them basically the same. And they're great. Great missiles, one of the best in the game, but they have... One of the, I mean, I will put this because technically the M is better than the F, but not really in the game, they're the same, but still. Um, the real problem with this is that they don't have a very, very long range at some of the, the other missiles that we're going to talk about. It's They're very good, but they have this problem with the seeker range. It only has 40 kilometers. And also, it doesn't have any type of INS or any type of... Um, data link, which means that even though it has the 40, 45 kilometers of range, if you lose the lock, the missile is it's most likely going to just self-explode um, and you lose the missile, so that's problematic and you can just cannot fire from further away than 40, 45 kilometers, even if you have the aerodynamic range on the missile, because the missile can go 
up to like 60 kilometers, but it just doesn't have the seeker range to do it. This would, if, would be fixed with the later variants of this peril, but right now with the M and the F, we don't have that. So that's basically, they're great missiles, but they have these problems that are kind of annoying, right? Then we go for the M54, and I also will put it here. It is amazing at long ranges, and it can get people by surprise, but it is a very easy missile to defeat. It is a missile that you a bear, I mean, just a normal crank normally just defeats this missile, especially in an aircraft such as uh, a MiG-29 or an Yak-41, especially because you can crank a lot with the 85 degrees of side look of the, that radar and continue to lock the F-14, right? And the M54 just doesn't have the the maneuverability to, to get it and not even the the energy to get it uh, on a turn cap capability, right? So it really is a very good missile long range, but it is not as good as other missiles that we're going to talk about. So yeah, I think the US is lacking a little bit, but you will see that most nations are even more. Uh, the US is pretty all right. Compared to the Sparrows here, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it, it's either way, right? Uh, like, it's better at long ranges, but worse at short ranges. I would say that it's worse than the M7s just because it is a lot easier to defeat. So I would put it um, behind the M7s just because of that. Then we go for the Soviets. The Soviets have some pretty good missiles. Uh, so, yeah. The R-23, this is kind of controversial. Um, yeah, I... It's problematic. I think I like this missile actually, and right now it is pretty bad. It was it was good at some point, but right now it's it's problematic. Uh, I mean, I want to put it in wasted money, but it is better than some of the other missiles that I will tell you about. So I would just add it to only good at one thing. It is only good at one thing: a BVR shot from a medium range a little bit below medium range so it would be a very good shot from like 10 to 15 kilometers beyond that it doesn't have the energy to turn with the target and below that it doesn't have the energy to just it doesn't start turning fast enough to actually be able to hit the target i would still argue that the e2 is better than the r23 i personally prefer the r23 over the e2 uh, it is a more reliable missile for me. I get more kills with it. But this was back in the day when I used to use R23s when uh, the BVR weapon war was basically just these two aircraft, right? So right now, I don't know. I feel like for most of the players, the E2 would be better. So the R23 uh, is here. And the T is also here because I think it's a, a old missile, spe especially, especially in these higher tiers, you know? Uh, in a tier uh, rank 7 and a 10 point something maybe uh, facing that in the MiG-23M for example it is going to be up like a little bit better here but uh, you know beyond that it's problematic and the R-23T can only do one thing basically sneak attacks from a kind of a long range so yeah it has a lot of energy to get people from like until like 10 kilometers depending on the situation but you need to be careful with cold aspect shot, uh, shots that are too fast for you or targets that are too fast for you. I still think that the the T would be a little bit easier to use than the R23R, uh, so I would put it like this. It's just a, a good missile, but it has its limitations, very easy to flare, and it doesn't have a lot of range, it doesn't turn very much. Good missiles, but back in the day and not in this rank, right? Then we go for the R24. The R-24s are kind of weird as well. I think they're very good, man. They're actually a very good missile. The problem is the radar. The MLD's radar, it is a little bit problematic and you can lose a lock and then it's you have to reacquire the lock and stuff. I would still think that it's more reliable than the Sparrows, to be honest, but just because of the, the way that the INS works. So, yes, I would put it in the mix here. I have to think about this. I don't know. It has way less range in the sparrows, but it has a lot more energy for short range shots. So for close range, it is better than in sparrows, but for long range, it is a worse. So I would put it in the middle here just to show that I think it's a different type of missile. So yeah, it has basically the same effective range as a sparrow. It has 20, 20 something kilometers. But the thing is, uh, the radar is problematic to use in the MiG-23 and also... Um, 
even though you have the INS and stuff, it's more of a short range missile compared to the Sparrow than the Sparrow. So the Sparrow, it's a little bit better from the long range. The R24 is a little bit better for the short range. And the R24T, I think, if used correctly, it can be a very good weapon as well. Uh, I would put it probably... I mean, it's very easy to flare, but if the target doesn't know that you're there, I think it's still a little bit more reliable to use than the Phoenix. I know it's not a very good comparison here. It's way different missiles, and I don't like to do this comparison. But the R24T, I mean, it's... A missile that I think it's less effective than the R version and the Sparrows. But it is more effective than the AIM-54. And it's better than not going not terrible. It's a, an amazing missile. It has a good range. And it can attack targets and attack targets from further away. So, yeah, it's just harder to evade. But the problem is the flares. So, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like this missile ignores a lot of flares. Sometimes it doesn't. So, I don't know. Then we go for the... R27s. So the R27, I would put it right here. Or is it? Come on. I would put it in great, but it doesn't have the range of the ER, right? But it's still a good missile. It has basically the same range as the AIM-7s. Uh, it, it is still going to be a little bit better than the AIM-7s uh, in a short range environment. Less than 15 kilometers, it will be better. It will turn better. Has INS way more reliable on that, so it is just a way better missile than the Sparrows, right? But uh, it still it doesn't have that amount of range that the ER has, right? And the ER, I'm going to put on here, and I think it's just, you know, it, it's just a, a way better missile. And people will get mad at me about the AIM-54 not being up here, because it is indeed a very good missile for long range, but it's just that all of these missiles are just way more reliable than this one. This is not meant to be fighting fighters specifically. So it's very easy to lose targets. Uh, with this, I can get up to 60, 70, per all of these actually, especially these four, I can get to like 50, 60% of hit rate with it. It is a very good hit rate, uh, even more depending on the situation. When the R27, I think it's even more. It is the same missile as the R27ER, but with a different engine, so it is just a little bit less powerful, and yeah, it's just an effective missile. I think it's uh, very good. Then we go for the R27T. It's another missile that it's kind of problematic. I don't know. I prefer to use R's. It doesn't matter. I mean, I prefer radar missiles no matter what. So this is going to be kind of controversial as well. Uh, but I think I still get more kills with these than these. Uh, the flares are so easy to defeat these IR missiles that... Um, even with the IRCCM that they do have, I think the, the, the Raider air missiles are just way better, way more reliable. So, yeah. And then we go for the R27ER. I mean, it is the best missile in the game. You can get kills from 60 kilometers constantly. The targets can try to run, try to do anything. It is reliable. You can re uh, require the lock. You have the INS, you have the data link for longer range shots. It is just the most amazing missile in the game. It is indeed way more effective than the Phoenix. Maybe the only problem with it is that you have only two of them on all of the aircraft they use the ER. But this will be fixed in the future with other aircraft. It's more of a problem of the aircraft than a problem of the, the, the missile itself. Uh, I still think that it's way more effective than the Phoenix. It's just way easier to get the kills than the Phoenix. Way easier to get in the R27s and NIM7s. It is just out of the, I mean, of the planet how good this missile is. And to be honest, guys, even if the F-15 comes, even with a superior radar to the MiG-29, the ER would make the F-15 not be able to even shoot a missile properly. Because if they only get the AIM-7s, these two AIM-7s, not the Ps and MHs and others, it would mean that the ER would still outrange, even though you have a worse radar in the MiG-29 than the F-15, it would still outrange the Sparrows. So, yeah, uh, the only limitation on range this, in this aircraft is basically the radar of the MiG-29 and the radar on the on the Yak, because 60 plus kilometer shots can be done. And if you've seen my videos flying it, it is very reliable to get kills from the, that, like those ranges. I probably get like 80, 
70-80% of heat rates with this. This is a guesstimation, right? But still, I think it's a very, very good missile. And if you haven't tried it, please try it. It's just amazing. It turns better than anything and has the most amount of energy and range and everything. It's a very OP missile. It's very good. Yeah, and, and the second one is the R-27, right? I mean, they're just that good. And it's, oh, oh my God. Then we have the British ones. Obviously, these ones are a little bit more less effective. So, yeah, the Sky Flash, yeah, it's kind of a wasted money, I think. Um, they're very similar to the E2, but the thing is that in this BR, I mean, it's problematic. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I mean, it, I, I guess it's, it's good at one thing, short-range shots, but not really low, though. I mean... Maybe these both of these missiles should be here. I don't know. I, I just really dislike these missiles. They're very, very short range. And you normally miss the shots. I have barely... at Man, think about this. I'm, I had those shots with less than like 8 kilometers. You get less than like 40% of hit rates, I think. In my personal experience. This is really bad for such a small range. And it's such an easy missile to defeat. It's not even a joke, man. It really, really is a very, very, very mis like missiles to, to evade. Very, very easy. Then we have the Sky Flash Super Temp. I think it's not really not terrible. It is not a very bad missile. It has the range of the normal sparrows, but it has less, basically, energy, right? So, I don't know. It feels like the radar is there. Even though it's the worst version of the Tornado ADF, ADV Raider, it's still, the, the missile doesn't have the seeker head to actually do longer range shots. So even though you have the range, you cannot shoot from above 38 to 40 kilometers, depending on the situation, depending on the amount of clutter and stuff. So it is a very kind of meh missile. You can get kills with it, mostly short range. But you can get BVR kills uh, fairly easy if you do it correctly. But the hit rates are very bad. If the target knows that you're there and firing from a long range, you will miss this target. So, yeah, it's it's a, a weird missile. I like it, but it's kind of meh. I, th I, I thought it would be a little bit better. Then we have the Super 530F. Yes, yeah, just a waste of money. It's completely useless because even though the missile itself is pretty good, it turns well, it has a lot of energy. Not for range, but to turn, right? It has a major flaw that Gaijin thinks that they are they might be working on it to, to be better, but I don't know, it's just problematic. I don't know. Uh, is that the chef? The chef, one chef in this missile is done, and it goes to the chef. So technology-wise, it's almost useless to use this missile. You get barely 10% of the shots that I do. I get kills with it. It's really, really bad. Uh, even the Mirage F1 is already bad. Imagine flying it in a Mirage 2000 against... I mean, it's the same BR, right? But still, if you fly against top tiers, I mean, it's ugh, problematic. This missile is really bad just for that one reason. And then the Super 530, I must put it right here. Yes, surprised. Yes, I prefer the Super 530 than the R27T. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I just think that the Super 530 is a very good missile. It turns very well, but it is... A very short range missile. I still prefer to use it over an R27 uh, T just because it is radar guided. So it is a little bit more reliable uh, just because it's a lot harder to actually defeat a radar missile than an IR missile right now. So there is that. But I don't know. It, I feel like a lot of people love this thing. Uh, but still, the Super 530D, it is a very good missile, but for short ranges. Not very good at long ranges. It can do it to like 30 kilometer plus shots, but it's difficult. It doesn't have the most amount of energy for that, and the target needs to be flying really high. So, but for a short range, it's even better than most of these ones. So, yeah, but because of that kind of mix between it, I mean, I, I maybe I even should put it right here. I don't know. I just get a lot more kills with this, especially because the INS. The INS on the Russian missiles are, are just oof. Tasty, man. They're the best thing ever. Uh, these ones, if you lose the lock, it's just basically GG, right? And with these, the reliability of just being able to shoot a missile and losing the lock and reacquiring the missile is just, oh, such a thing that it helps so much that it needs to be higher, right? 
So yeah, very good missile, but it has its problems on the range. Um, then we have the RB-71, another missile that it's almost use useless, especially with the Vegans Raider. It is a very bad Raider, and this missile barely has any 10 kilometer range shot. If you try to fire from 20 kilometers, which the Raider will tell you that you are in this, in like in, in range, you will notice that you will lose a lot of missiles. It is just a very, very bad missile. And yeah, the same as basically the Sky Flash and the E2, right? Uh, they're basically the same missile. So yeah, not very good. But this is it, guys. I know, I know. I'm not being, to be honest, I'm not being biased here. I'm telling you from what I played. And the ER is just a better missile than everything else. It really is. The Phoenix can be a long range shot. God, it can be one. But... The fact that it is so easy to actually detect one coming because of the long burn time, because of the RWR, and because it doesn't turn very much, it's such an easy missile. So understand that the ER, yes, you have to maintain the lock, but the Phoenix is such a slow missile and big missile that all of these are kind of more effective firing. It doesn't mean that it, these ones are better than these in the BVR. These are all inferior to these in the BVR in the range department. But everything else, every literally everything else, these other ones are worse. So I don't know, maybe it's just that I kind of don't like flying with this. But uh, of course, this is based on my personal experience and my liking. But normally I get more kills with any of these missiles than the Phoenix. Even though you can get kills, it's a little bit more of a rolling dice than all of these these are more strategy wise you can have strategies and get kills with it this is more like long range first shot of the game and then you're lucky if you hit something with TWS and stuff so it's all right and all of these i mean these are just really bad missiles this one you can use it on the mld it's kind of hard to use it but it is a reliable missile they're better than these ones i know it's kind of hard to understand i don't understand it either either but I get more kills with this than this. I don't know if it's because I'm used to the MiG-23, maybe that's it, but at least one, this one, I might understand that a lot of people would put it right here as well, because it is a difficult missile to use. Everything else, I think most of the people would agree, but basically this is it, and I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and leave it in the comments if you agree with me or not, okay? Bye, guys. See you.